the Ukraine anti-corruption investigation uh, group is what it was called. It, it doesn't translate into English very well. Was investigating Burisma for dealings from the year 2010 to 2012 while a specific person was running the corporation, not Hunter Biden. Hunter was on the Burisma board or associated at all from the year 2014 to 2019. Yes, it was a stupid idea, and I'd like to go back in time and literally hit Joe Biden over the head, you know, with a squeaky bat, saying, don't do this, and tell Hunter, stop it. It was the official policy of the European Union to get rid of the Ukrainian prosecutor general um, because he was part of the corruption that he was investigating. He was blocking corruption investigation in the Ukraine. The Ukraine parliament voted to remove the prosecutor general in March of 2016. Not the president. Or the president of Ukraine. During a January 23rd, 2018 Council on Foreign Relations discussion, Joe Biden started bragging. He claimed while vice president in 2016... Didn't give a time and date stamp. He said, I'm leaving in six hours or whatever. He was probably saying he was in some place. I'm not going to release the $1 billion in loan guarantees until Poroshenko fires the Ukrainian prosecutor general. The, the prosecutor general wasn't investigating Hunter Biden associated with Burisma. Was he? Of course, some of you are going to say, well, of course, blah, blah. Yes, but that prosecutor that they were talking about was being fired because the European Union and the U.S. government had come to the conclusion he was getting in the way of Ukraine, getting its shit together, and Burisma was only being investigated. Burisma was only being investigated from 2010 to 2012 when Hunter Biden wasn't associated. Yes, the timing couldn't be any worse. And literally everybody associated with Joe Biden told him, don't be involved in any of this, but there's something important. <laughs> this is a claim by Joe Biden in 2018, looking back two years. Is there evidence he actually made that phone call? I'm, I'm not bullshitting here. Everyone afterwards, including his own aide, said... Are you sure you made that phone call? They also said, th this is going to come back to bite you. And yes, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden were told repeatedly, don't do this. It has, it, it stinks. Don't do it. Not because you're committing a crime, but because it's really, I mean, are you trying to make sure they have somebody to talk about? Yeah. yeah are you trying to, are you trolling by giving people ammo against you? And yes, um, it would have been very convenient if Hunter Biden had simply stopped existing a long time ago. Russia Today, Spotnik, and propaganda channels in general on YouTube, yes, they are propaganda channels, as well as conspiracy theorists or people who just hate the Biden family or hate Democrats or just, or sometimes it all crosses up and they're all the same thing, declared that this guy was getting fired for his position that even the country's own government wanted the guy fired from. Because Joe Biden did it. It's not like the European Union, the people of the country were fed up with them, and the parliament wanted them removed. Well, there was a billion dollar uh, loan guarantee. It's a loan guarantee. From looking into the details, did Joe Biden have the power to do that? He was bragging in 2018 at the Council of Foreign Relations. That's what happened. Bragging. Is Joe Biden bullshitting a crowd for entertainment purposes? Okay. Next. Clip, title, and description were not created by C-SPAN, but by a user on C-SPAN who uploaded the supposed smoking gun. Oops, a Democrat Joe Biden confesses to his evil uh, criminality. Now, again, I'm going to repeat this for the umpteenth fucking time. Republicans keep doing investigations where they deliberately sandbag it to where they never come to a conclusion 
so they can keep the ball in play. Or they don't have any evidence and it's butt kiss. It could be both. I don't know. But the point is, even if they can't prove something, they're going to keep bringing it up. Comparisons. Donald Trump kept at his home and refused to release them until compelled to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of documents mixed in with his own crap, and now he's backpedaling, and when someone confronts him that he made a statement on camera and also made a statement under testimony, under oath, that amount to him admitting that he was completely aware that he can't declassify something after the fact, and that he was in possession of something that he shouldn't have, and that he was aware of the fact that he was breaking the law by having these documents at his house, and just did it because I can get away with it, because I'm Donald Trump, not an ex-president. He's just Donald Trump. That's just what Donald Trump does. Him bragging like that, proving that he was aware of it and cognizant of doing something that was transgressive, is being compared, hundreds of pounds of shit over here, to a folder that thick, one, if you combine it together into folder, of now we know Joe Biden having mostly photocopy, some redacted, of what was at one time secret and other things that weren't redacted. There were full copies of secret documents this much. An envelope worth. A literal mountain of evidence at someone's house with a person overtly saying, I'm not going to let you take it back, and pretty much having it pried out of his hands and coming up with every fucked up excuse to not obey a direct order under penalty of firing squad Donald Trump versus Joe Biden's lawyer finding a bunch of shit they're not supposed to have and immediately turning it over with no complaints or arguments. These are not the same people. Every time Donald Trump does something that gets him into hot water, he's, he's being prosecuted multiple times now. Someone has to dig up some goddamn thing. Joe Biden is not Hunter. Hunter Biden is now pleading guilty to two incidents of not paying $100,000 in taxes. That's tax money he owed. He has to pay a fine for it. He's actually paid it back. Again, the IRS just wants their money. That's a soft-pedaled version of what could happen to you and me because you and I don't have the money to pay it back. But if you did pay it back, if I did it, if I was running a business or whatever and said, here's the money, yes, I made a mistake, it's my fault, and then just don't admit that I did it on purpose. They'll be like, well, we got the money back. You didn't really gain anything of it. And you paid us back with interest. So there's nothing to prosecute them over. And the other one was a gun possession. Some of you out there who are gun rights activists who got mad that somebody got a gun who's a Democrat. That's what he's pleading guilty to as of today. Did he get a real sweet deal? Yeah, sure. He's a VIP who shouldn't be given any sweet deals. He should have been thrown in jail. I'm sorry, just punish the dog crap out of him. That's not Joe Biden. That's his son. <clears throat> his son is a train wreck. Yes, if his son stopped existing eight years ago or whatever, which could have happened because he might have, I mean, he's been in medical trouble before. <clears throat> would he be a problem now? Yes, someone would literally dig up his body to bring this up because some people have no shame. Did Biden do something corrupt? Again, every time the investigation is done by the Republicans with nobody interfering with them, they can't prove Joe Biden did something. Not something else. Did Joe Biden do something at all? The answer is they keep saying, when you really rub their nose in it, they eventually say, we found no evidence. If they don't find any evidence, if they find assertions made by people, is that aggressive prosecution based on political gain to continually, repeatedly investigate the current president or the previous vice president, Joe Biden, over and over and over again as a cope, as a, as copium for people who can't deal with the fact that you guys all elected a president, Donald Trump, that has done something that is literally treasonous. No, he can't do what he did. And yes, we now know he really was up to his neck in an attempt to do a coup d'etat. A soft coup d'etat, but a coup d'etat nonetheless. None of that shit goes away just because you're trying to make Joe Biden into Hunter Biden. 
Wap tech, you're coping with this. No, I'm I'm taking each piece and, and ask this. The Ukraine anti-corruption investigation of Burisma was for things that the company was guilty of from 2010 to 2012. After a certain point, they don't have any evidence of them doing any wrongdoing. Hunter Biden coming on in April of 2014 and being there to 2019 is not something that has anything to do with him doing something corrupt. And again, every time evidence is brought up, we look into it, we find out it's an assertion. It's a claim. It's somebody saying, I've got a recording of a telephone call and then never producing it over and over and over again. Meanwhile, Trump overtly stating publicly and under oath a bunch of shit that make him guilty. He can, he, if he shut his mouth, he would be okay. And again, all he had to do was say, yeah, I've got documents here I'm not supposed to have. I need someone to sort through them. If you don't want to trust me, you do it. And they just let him do it. This would have been over and done with in a day because they would have come out and just upended all the boxes and looked for anything marked top secret, anything that even looked right. There's a mountain of evidence now that fake electors were put in place to try to keep Trump in power. And no, just because you can say, well, it wasn't Trump, it was his lawyer. It was Trump doing that. Literally falsifying state-issued documents to claim the vote went a certain way. That's called rigging an election. Versus accusing Joe Biden of it because reasons? The paperwork. Mountain over here, Joe Biden, a handful, maybe bigger? And now we get to this. Well, it's Burisma and Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden wasn't there when the corruption was happening in Burisma. Well, uh, he was there when he was there when the when when the prosecutor that failed to prosecute correctly was punished finally by Parliament, not by a phone call from our president telling their president to fire him. It's a boast and a claim made in 2018 that should not have happened. Just like Donald Trump should be have a lawyer with him at all times that says, "Are you about to talk?" Yeah, no, and just never never hear him. Joe Biden shouldn't talk at all either. Both of these people say shit when they're not being monitored. They need to go through a press secretary to keep keep themselves from saying something stupid. That's it. Now, is that clip, title, and description on C-SPAN or wherever else you saw it accurate? I don't know. You'd have to find the original copy. Council of Foreign Relations, January 23rd, 2018. And even the people involved say Joe Biden's quoting something that they know he wasn't able to do. He's just bullshitting them. Well, no, Joe Biden is only honest when it makes him and, and his son look really bad and make him look like a corrupt politician. The rest of the time, he's a fucking liar. Or he was bullshitting at the Council of Foreign Relations discussion forum. I'm sorry, but this is a very reasonable question. Do you really have a world view that he's a brilliant mastermind, blah, 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 one minute, and a complete fucking doofus another? that he can oops like that in front of a group of people, and that totally be the truth, but he's always lying every other time when it's inconvenient for your belief system. Meanwhile, I actually take Donald Trump at his word when he says all this shit where he's claiming that he's innocent about stuff, but then he keeps saying stuff that proves that he's just lying. He lies over here when it's a self-aggrandizing and I'm the most awesome thing on the planet, and then when he says, well, this is what happened, a lot of the times he actually is appearing to tell the truth, and it's incriminating as fuck. And he is not immune from self-incrimination when he proffers it during an interview on Fox. The corruption investigation of Burisma that you could try to connect to Hunter Biden is 2010 to 2012. Tell me how that doesn't work. Was he guilty of corruption? They don't think so. Their own words on it. Why talking to Ukraine officials disproves a Trump narrative on Biden. They don't agree with it. And some of these people have all the reasons in the world to screw over Hunter or Joe if they wanted to. If you want to show me evidence, it can't be somebody bullshitting. I'm trying not to be bullshit here. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck.